Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for checking in on me. This video is going to detail all the things that happened to me during my first week of post-op recovery after my huge um, plastics journey surgery I did. Um, if you're new here, basically I'll give you the rundown. I did circumferential tummy tuck with fleur de lis, which means vertical incision and all the way around. And I did also a thigh lift and also muscle repair. And so it was a pretty extensive surgery. I actually do have pictures of like my insides like and everything. Like I'm not going to show them on here, but granted, it was pretty ep epic to see myself with muscles inside and no fatsies inside. So it's kind of cool. But anyway, um, currently when I'm making this intro, I'm two weeks post-op. So you're going to see a lot of stress in this video. I'm giving you a little warning. Um, a lot of things happened this first week and I'm suffice it to say uh, everything is looking on the brighter side as of two weeks, but you will see of course in the two weeks video. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and like warn you guys that it's kind of a roller coaster in this video and I hope that you will enjoy seeing how my first week of recovery went. Um, I had high hopes of vlogging a lot of it for you and you know I wasn't all together there most of the time and so I can't promise that it's anything exciting but I hope it's entertaining and I hope it kind of gives you an idea of what it might be like to recover from this surgery. This surgery is major. I will just say prepare yourselves because if you're going to do something like this it's unlike any other thing that you can prepare for prepare for so it is pretty crazy and so I just wanted to kind of come on here and give a little intro and a prerequisite so that you guys knew that what you were about to see may be a little uncomfortable to watch just just saying so all right well let's get to the video good morning guys it is day one of post-op um feeling pretty good feeling a bit sore. I tried to sit on the potty for a little while and see if anything would move and it didn't so that's kind of a bummer. I'm going to be taking some Miralax and another Colace and I also only took one um, oxycodone in the middle of the night. Um, didn't take any Tylenol or anything so I'm definitely feeling it now. I have to leave in a couple hours to go to my post-op so I'm going to go ahead and take I'm going to show you guys all the things I'm taking this morning. So the five yellow ones are the Heal Fast Vitamins. The two brown ones are Arnica, the two blue are Tylenol, um, the one red and white is um, antibiotic, and the little red one is, um, it's the dual softener, Colace, and then I have two little white, I'm doing the white oxycodone, I'm doing two. So, yeah, bottoms up breakfast, and then Dave's making me some more um, electrolyte water. I'm doing that big jar with two tablespoons of sole water for sodium and about four grams of no salt for potassium and then he's also going to put Miralax in that and drink that so um, what else oh he's going to make me shake so that I can have some food in my stomach with all these pills and I'll catch you guys in a little while all right first meal of the day is 7 30 a.m pills and protein right I mean breakfast to champions <laughs> Looking forward to going to my visit. Not going yet, but I'll keep you updated. Guys, it's time to go. I'm gonna go attempt the stairs. I have actually been sitting here editing video. I'm pretty comfortable sitting on my chair. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Got this pillow behind my back and gel purple mattress, gel purple pillow thing underneath. Stop looking at my closet. You don't wanna see that. Oof. That's where I shoved everything so it'd be out of the way. <laughs> there, clean, it's clean very clean <laughs> anyway we're heading out I don't know if I'm gonna film going down the stairs or not probably not I think I'm gonna walk down backward I'll let you guys know if that worked because I heard that going down the stairs is way worse than everything else um, I can definitely feel more pain 
even though I took the oxycodone about an hour and a half ago. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I ain't dying yet. So see you guys at the bottom of the stairs. Dude, backwards was awesome. Made it in like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, maybe less than a minute. All the way down those big stairs back there. The day after surgery. I got this. I hope. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely painful. A lot painful. Oh, there goes my cat. I just have to get out, dude. You can start a little longer then. Yeah, I don't think I dare to go down those stairs without a support, so. And I can't reach the supports because there's stuff on both sides, so I guess you get to be my support. Here, okay, here we go. So people online yeah. said it's easier to get up with the stool into a higher vehicle, a lower vehicle. So we're taking the beast. Hopefully I'll be more comfortable that way. Like I said, it hurts pretty pretty bad, <laughs> but I'm okay, I think. Made it in. <sighs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm okay though. We're heading to the doctor. It's where I'm supposed to be. Look at this view, I just knew it. You see me too and me through it. Yeah. Look at that. Woo! Awesome. Nice. Look, look at you. What the heck? That was pretty crazy. <laughs> yes, that looks good. <laughs> what do you think? Check the thighs. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way. So don't try not to get my. Well, yeah, so that's going to happen. My bits. You're going to have to. This is the thing I couldn't figure out is the drains because I'm trying to go to the bathroom, they said I could pull it down. I'm like, uh uh. No, cannot. It goes through a hole in the drain in the yeah. thing. So. Yeah, so you pull it down part way. Part way. I'm just yeah. too nervous. Yeah, here, let's see. Let me get some of this stuff off back here so I can get a good look. Karen, I'll put tape on you. Right here. Wow. Which is probably a good thing, but. Some scissors on that. That's what they all say online. <laughs> and then the human get snatched. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even know the word faha, which surprised me. Because that's what they talk about the most on those boards. It's like getting the best faha. And so it's like a common thing to know. Like, Oh, yeah. And you're like, what I've is that? that? It's basically a waist trainer, full body compression suit that you try to wear even when you don't have surgery. But people wear them when they have surgery for lipo because they want to get the waist as skinny as possible or something. Oh, I see. So, thighs look good. Yeah, yeah, and you said I would hardly notice the thighs, and that is literally the only thing I noticed. <laughs> I was like, dude, you lied to me. Yeah, the other one's numb. <laughs> when I woke up in 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 the you know room, that was literally the first thing I was like, dude, I can't feel nothing else, just the damn thighs. <laughs> <laughs> and I they said, do you have feel pain? I'm like, in my thighs. So then they were shooting me up with all kinds of stuff, and I still felt pain, and I was like, dude, stop shooting me up. I'm never gonna be able to walk. <laughs> So that next time they ask me, do you feel pain? I'm like, yeah, no, no, I do not. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I want to go home now. <laughs> so, is my butt peachy? Pretty peachy. Yeah. Which side did you do the last time? Do you want me to do the other one? Or? I did this one. I don't think it matters. Are you okay standing? Yeah. Do I think shot? I don't feel dizzy, so okay. I think we'll be okay. I even videoed myself giving myself the shot. Oh, nice. Yeah. I just do that. I do everything. Boom, done. It's not hard. You just stick the needle that's in and you push it. That looks like it's not coming. Okay. So. 
So when you get this thing going back on, <clears throat> you want to make sure that the drains are not kinked as they come out and right. move toward the hole. So that's why I was afraid to do it. Yeah. We'll put this in the oh, front yeah. here, so this is gonna some nice Lego foam. foam. Yeah. I almost bought some of that, and then I thought, no, oh, that's the one thing I didn't buy. Oh yeah. And that made me laugh when I saw it. I said, Dave, they gave me Lego foam. I didn't even need it. <laughs> He's like, I'm rolling his eyes. He, every time I say I bought more stuff, he's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm on a first name basis with the Amazon driver. Right, like so many. Things. <laughs> <laughs> but today I sat on my regular office chair for like a half hour and started editing a video. So, well, that's good. I think I'm okay. Yeah. So far, anyway. There you go. Well, you can do that. All righty, guys. Well, that was awesome. Did you see that? Holy crap! I can't even believe it looks that flat. I look good. I'm in the car. Dave's driving. I think the gabapentin and stuff must have hit me because it's not super painful. So timing of meds is a good thing. If you're gonna be going out to the doctor, taking the meds um, like at least a half hour before will help. Especially if you drive very far. We only have to drive 15 minutes. Picked up some Cafe Rio. Haven't had Cafe Rio in years, but I want it today. So I'm gonna have me another salad when we get home. And yeah, it's going pretty great. I think they were, they, they said I could shower, just leave the tapes on and come back in a week. They couldn't take any drains out. They won't take any drains out until a week. Um, and they'll of course only take the ones out that are giving less than 25 milliliters or whatever per 24 hours or three days. So it'll be a miracle if I ever get the drains out, but for right now I'm feeling pretty happy. I made it back home. Got my Cafe Rio, so this is what I'm having for my second meal. It's a shredded chicken cha salad with corn tortillas, no beans and rice, and the house dressing. I haven't had one of these in probably, I don't know, five or six years. Used to be my favorite food. We'll see if I still like it. But that's going to be my second meal of the day. Okay. What time is it? Three? A little after three. I think I overdid it a little bit. Feeling pretty bad right about now. I brushed my daughter's hair. She doesn't like her hair brushed and I'm the only one who can do it without her screaming because we have a plan and we were supposed to get it done before my surgery and it's my fault I didn't. So I brushed her hair and I thought it was gonna be okay but then I'm just like, ow. So took I took my pills a little early but I'd only taken one before so I think it's gonna be okay. And I think I'm about ready to zonk out for an afternoon nap something like that but yeah definitely feeling it at the moment but you know what even though it's really really painful I wouldn't call it a 10 on the pain scale probably like maybe a five or a six it's not that bad but it's the worst I felt so far so I'm still kicking alive and kicking all right I'm feeling a little bit better and so I'm gonna eat something Dave made me some sludge same macros as I usually eat but if you're new here, you may be. This is made with um, 30, 300 grams of Greek yogurt, about 25 grams of protein powder, and some Mia water enhancer, and then I put some sugar-free whipped cream and chocolate chips on top. Anyway, that's gonna be, I guess, my third meal. I'm probably gonna also have a built bar. Guess what, guys? My sweet sister just stopped by and brought me some treats. She brought me some sugar-free Reese's cups, but she, the, she also brought me this. It's a keto cupcake from Oh Hello Keto Bakery. I've never tried anything from there. And it's lemon, my favorite. She brought me a treat, so I'm gonna eat this too. Alrighty guys, it's a little after seven. My digestion is pretty slow. I've eaten a lot of food and I kinda of feel like it's stuck there. So we're saying goodbye to keto. I was planning a steak tonight, but I don't think that's wise. So this is what I'm having. Basically carbs, uh, tomato soup and grilled cheese. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. You're my garden in the park. Morning, guys. It is day two post op, 7 a.m., well, a little after 7. Um, I just did my drains by myself. That was interesting. Wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good this morning, actually. I got a lot of good sleep, feeling pretty amazing. But I'm about to down all my pills, so I thought you guys could get a kick out of seeing what it looks like. So this is everything I'm taking at 7 a.m. It's not everything I take either. There's a couple more that are off on a different schedule. These are the Heal Fast. 
vitamins. These blue ones are the Tylenol. Then this little one is Oxy. I'm trying to do just one today and see how it goes. These two are Senna. Um, I can't remember what these two are now. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, there's something. Oh, right. No, that's... Oh, gosh. I don't know. See? I don't know. I put them all out. and I don't know. I think this is Celebrex. Don't know what these are. Oh, yes, I do. Arnica. <laughs> Arnica. Cranberry. Antibiotic. Zofran. And whatever this is, like... Celebrex, I think. Oh, and Stole Softeners. What? I also added this to my water. Limp Stim. I'm going to start this today because my weight just keeps going up so I'm guessing my water is just bad so I'm gonna try and see if this will help and yeah that's all my medicines bottoms up part two breast breakfast of champions keto chow this is the root beer with um, 80 grams of heavy cream and it's been sitting overnight so it should taste pretty good guys I am just getting ready to get in the shower he said I could shower um, like normal even though I have all these drains so I'm completely out of my compression and I thought I'd show you guys a little bit. So if weird creepy scar stuff is gonna make you queasy or seeing drains, you may not wanna watch this next se section, but this is me, um, two days post-op, day two post-op, whatever. I'm gonna show you what I look like. All right, so as you can see, I got my lanyard, this trip put my drains on so that I can get in the shower. This is a very good tip. You want something that you can wear. Um, some people wear panties like I've got on here um, and just clip them onto the panties and then just kind of wash around through the panties. But I thought this would be a little bit better by putting the panties on for you guys so you can never see everything. So yeah, this is my fleur de lis. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Up the front here. And it goes all the way, oop, goes all the way up in here can't film myself I don't know what I'm doing there you go and this is a really comfy sleep bra um, I can't even remember the company but it's really comfortable to keep on all the time which is nice because I didn't get my breasts done but I want them out of the way so yeah so then there's my belly button let's see if I can move these so you can just sorry about all the mess there's just a mess everywhere around here let's see let's see my belly button that's the most as I can see of it. I don't know what it's gonna look like when later, but well, it's okay. Um, so as you can see, this is this is taped, but this is where my scar is. It goes all the way down to right about here and comes back up. It's a really nice curve. It's good. As you can see, I'm really swollen. My legs are so swollen, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, I wonder if I can show you guys the back. I flip the camera. Let's see. Yeah. Sort of. So, <laughs> I wish I could zoom in on it now, but that is what the back looks like at the moment. So, as you can see, I still have some of my rolls, but I was expecting that. Um, and my scar is kind of curved like a peach. It's not super curvy, but it's curved more than just straight across. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah. Anyway, not bad, right? Not bad at all. I think I'm looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. I mean, pretty much I'd be happy with anything because what I had was so ridiculous. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do a before and after picture in here for you guys so you can really see the difference. But like, I had so much belly. And now I have no belly. So it's kind of weird, surreal, almost like it's not real. You know, like almost like it's not me. I'm sure you guys have felt like that at some point, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I can't get any of the drains out for at least a week. So I have to deal with them and I hear that that's the most annoying part. So far they haven't bugged me too much, but you know, as I probably heal and start to feel like I want to do more stuff and lay different positions, and I'm not in such bad pain, I probably will be annoyed by them. So we'll see, day two only. So I'm feeling pretty good today, obviously. I'm standing here by myself in the bathroom, getting ready to go shower. Oh, I didn't show you my legs though. I don't know if you wanna see those, but they're scary. 
So you can see it looks pretty nasty, pretty gnarly down here, but he basically just did one like one little cut and then he took out all the skin and just sewed it back together. And the scar just only goes about halfway, not even halfway down my leg, which I think it'll be okay once it's healing, but yeah, right now it's pretty gnarly. This is the top. So it doesn't go all the way up into my groin, which is nice. But the doctor told me that I wouldn't notice the thighs. And I tell you what, that's been the most painful part. But in all honesty, it hasn't been super bad yet. So I keep thinking, when's it going to get super bad? Last night, it kind of got super bad a little bit when my daughter needed her hair brushed and I kind of overexerted because her hair was full of mats that needed to be dealt with. And I should have dealt with it before the surgery, but I didn't get it done. She didn't like her hair brushed and it's too rough. So I did that and then I was like, ooh, that's painful. But for the most part, I'm handling it okay. So I do have to do another in injection. And then I'm gonna get in the shower and wash up a little. So catch you guys in a little while. Alrighty guys, Dave just brought me breakfast. Thanks Dave. And I got bacon, eggs, two pieces of gluten-free cinnamon toast, some strawberries and Swiss cheese. And that's gonna be my second meal of the day. Hey guys, little afternoon, I've been here chilling out, trying to get a nap in and my daughter apparently has been complaining about, she's eight, been complaining about ear pain and I just finally said, Dave, you're just gonna have to take her to the Instacare. And while he was gone, I cleaned my own drains again, took my pills again. So I think I'm doing okay when he's having to be gone. But she has an ear infection. First one in her life, I swear. That she's ever had one before and they were gonna be like no medicine for it since when do they not give antibiotics for ear infections I mean it's been a while but Dave insisted that they give her a prescription so he's out getting that and we'll hope she actually takes it because she's really crappy at taking medicine but to tell her if she wants her ear to stop hurting that she's gonna take it but you know that's the life of a mom there's no break right someone's gonna bound to have something wrong with them if I have to be down Anyway, I'm feeling pretty great. I'm down to doing about one oxycodone every four hours instead of two. So I think that's really, really good. And just gonna keep working my way towards, you know, spacing that out and just doing Tylenol. So we'll see how it goes, but so far so good. Hey, you went to the doctor, huh? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I have a middle ear infection. An ear infection, middle ear infection? Got to take medicine for that. Well, my um, eardrum is red. Yeah. That's what been causing it to hurt so badly on this part. Oh. And this part. Well, I'm glad you figured it out. Now you got to take this medicine like me. I'm taking the same kind of medicine, only in a pill. The Wicklid? You're so cute. I can't say it. <laughs> she chose the Wicklid. Wicklid? Yeah. It's so cute. I love it when you say derodient too, instead of deodorant. Oh my gosh. She's like, oh my gosh, mom, stop embarrassing me. Well, I'm glad it wasn't anything worse. <laughs> hey guys, so this is gonna be two this is gonna be a TMI section. So if you don't wanna know about bodily functions skip this part skip it for a minute or so uh, <laughs> I just wanted to talk about constipation and um, apparently everyone I've talked to has had the worst um, experience that's been the worst thing about this whole thing was constipation so I've been super worried about it I started taking extra magnesium um, about a week ago started taking three pills instead of two of my magnesium glyconate also I've been drinking aloe water I don't know how much it helped show you an empty bottle because all I have it by me but I've been drinking a minimum of two of these aloe waters every day it's aloe water zero um, because I saw someone say that that helped them with the situation I've also taken um, several colases some senna and of course my electrolytes I've been taking my sodium just like I've been doing on keto I didn't I haven't really lowered it I've had like six tablespoons instead of eight which is a ton of salt so probably any other person would be like hello woman you're crazy but 
I am retaining water, but I'm going to retain water either way. I'm not really worried about the sodium doing that. I was more worried about constipation than anything, and I know electrolytes is probably part of it. So I made sure to stay on top of them, and it worked. Day two. What time is it? Day two, 1, 1.44 p.m. My surgery was done at about 12.30, so literally two exact days later. Got it done. So it worked. So guys, that's what I highly recommend you focusing on that if you're gonna be having a tummy tuck because the anesthesia and the pills you're taking afterwards can really bog you up. And apparently that's worse than giving birth, at least from what I've heard from other people. All right, so TMI out. Alrighty guys, it is two o'clock. I'm waiting for Dave to bring me back some Costa Vida, but I am starving all of a sudden because of what I said in the last clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a protein meal, which is my good old protein, and they all match, isn't that cute? Protein shake, protein bar, protein puffs. Woohoo! Getting her antibiotics. <laughs> She's not excited about it. And my Costa Vida is here. Chicken enchiladas with red sauce and rice. No beans. Alrighty guys, it is 7.45. Um, I switched out of my zip up thing to a tank top because I was dying in heat. But still got my drains under here, my garment, and this garment is huge. I don't know what they were thinking. I've looked up this garment online and they have put me in a 5XL and like according to my measurements I should be a medium or a large. And it's like a hundred dollars to buy another one so I'm just kind of like should I, shouldn't I? I don't know but this one is just it's huge. I feel like I'm just swelling up everywhere because it's too big but anyway the reason I got you on here is because I was going to show you my evening meds. Oh, I have just realized I haven't even put out my Heal Fast yet. So I'll be doing five of the Heal Fast plus these three magnesium. This is a Tylenol, a, um, that's a antibiotic, Gabapentin, um, Celebrex, two Oxycodone, Cranberry, Arnica, Stool Softener, Senna. And then I'll be doing five of these. So yeah. Dinner served. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's dinner time. I am going to be having a six ounce New York steak and a baked potato with cheese, sour cream, and butter. It looks really good. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. Good morning guys, it's day three post-op and I am about to have my pills, my best my, oh my gosh, I can't talk. My breakfast of champions. I'm a little slurry wordy this morning because I took a Tylenol PM before I went to bed and then I took it, another one when I was halfway through the night. And now I woke up and I can't quite, quite wake up and my mouth is not doing what I wanted to do. So that's kind of frustrating. But anyway, I'm having this time, well, I made the mistake last night of taking all my pills without dinner. And then when dinner came up, I could only eat three bites. So I showed you guys that I was having a steak and a potatoes did not work. I could not eat them. The potatoes maybe all want to barf. <laughs> so I had to give them to somebody else. And then I ended up eating two 100 calorie bags of popcorn and a built bar, I think, is all I ate last night because I was so nauseous. I put another scopolamine patch on. So my, I'm really dry mouth and dizzy. Can't see straight. My eyes are a little bit weird. That's the side effects of the patch. I've also been taking Zofran. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this morning I'm doing health code shake and a built bar. I haven't decided which one. And I'm going to take those with my pills. And I just realized I didn't put um, my Zofran out. But anyway, I'll get that in a second. So yeah, here's the little pills. This is what I'm taking morning and night, basically. So, bottoms up. All right, so far I didn't get nauseous with all of my pills, and I was telling Dave about the several people that commented about not doing videos in front of my broken blinds. So I would like you guys to see this. Yep, that is Dave fixing the blinds. Not that it really matters, but I guess they're fixed now. All right, it is time to do the uh, injection. I don't really want to strip off my whole faha 
to get to my thigh, so I'm gonna attempt to do it in my arm today. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. to help blood with blood clots so I definitely don't want that so I'm definitely doing what I gotta do all right check in with you again soon all right guys it's noon and I'm about to have my first real meal of the day today I'm having two eggs two pieces of Monterey Colby Jack cheese um, two pieces of, of ancient grain no this is the raisin bread Canyon house raisin bread gluten-free oh my gosh with butter and cinnamon and swerve and four great value brand sausage sausage links and that is gonna be my second meal of the day all right it's uh, probably about one o'clock in the afternoon maybe 20, 1 I'm about to get in the shower by myself we'll see how that goes um, I just stripped my drains so you can see they're all basically empty now one thing that I didn't know you had to do was you have to like what they call milk them or strip them, where you literally just squeeze the, the tube and make sure there's no clots caught in here. And that is one thing I have definitely used the most right now is these big um, alcohol pads because these really make that easier because it like hurts your fingers like fr with friction when you are stripping it, it hurts your fingers. So that works really well for that. So that's a tip. One thing I've used a lot that I haven't, um, Anyway, that I, that I bought. One thing I haven't used at all is this thing. Everyone swears by it, but I have been able to get up and down just fine. So I am not, sorry, I'm not uh, worried about that. So yeah, I'm going to get all this off and I'll show you what it looks like today. And I'm gonna get in the shower and wash my hair. I've got some friends coming over tonight and I don't wanna look like complete ragamuffin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I wanna look like I'm at least trying. <laughs> all right, so. Here's what I look like three days post-op. on it. The stomach is really tight, but I think that's to be expected. It feels like it's not me. Um, supposedly, you, you can't feel any feeling, but I can feel, well, I guess not in the side ones, I can feel in this one. My skin. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's where we're at. Day three, post-op, about to get in the shower. I have a, a lanyard that I'm going to clip my drains to. I just hang it around my neck. I'll clip all the drains on there while I shower. Works pretty well. Wish me luck. Alright, so I had my shower and I got all put back together. The body squeezer that I, they put me in is so big I can literally stick my, stick my boobs in it. It's a 5XL and I think according to the website I'd probably be a larger XL. Um, I don't know, I can't find my measuring tape. But it's huge. It goes all the way down past my knees, which I guess I don't mind that too much. Um, but I don't know. It's just kind of, it's not giving me the compression that I feel like I should be having. Also in my thigh um, area, there, it, there is the tape is coming loose and I can see the, the uh, open wound kind of underneath there. So I actually sprayed that part with some of this. 
and also my belly button because both of those things are exposed. And I, I blew dry my paper tape. So you're supposed to let the paper tape dry for like a half hour, just sit there naked. But instead I blow dried my hair and then I turned it on cool and blow dried all of the paper tape until it was dry so that I could get dressed. So I'm dressed with my unders. I got my True Kind bra finally showed up that I ordered for specifically for this purpose. And it's a little smallish, but eh, it'll do for now. So it looks like a one piece big huge bodysuit, but it isn't. And we have friends coming over in a few hours, so I'm gonna now get some rest, though I don't think that the shower took that much out of me. I thought that I'd be exhausted after doing that. I wasn't. I didn't even use the shower chair in the shower at all. I never have, because it, it doesn't make any sense how to use it. And I had it out here. Um, I sat on it to blow dry my hair, so that worked. So I kind of used it, but so far I haven't really used the shower chair. But I've also been experiencing better pain relief or I don't know I don't seem to be in as much pain as some of the other people I've seen on YouTube that I followed so I don't know if it, I'm just having an easier time of it or if I have high pain tolerance but I just haven't used some of the stuff they said was so important because I didn't I haven't needed it so I am gonna go probably get a snack some more water um, I just took a second dose of sole water and even though I'm puffy I'm still taking my sodium so I can have energy and it's working every time I feel like I'm starting to pass out and feeling really icky, I take some salt and boom, I'm back to normal. So, um, I don't know why the doctors all say no salt diets, but mine didn't, so I'm so glad. Anyway, you probably don't care about this. I'm rambling because I'm starting to get a little tired, so I'm going to get dressed, go lay down for a little while, and get ready for when my friends come over. You see the fly flying around? It's driving me crazy. Dave bought me a fly swatter, and it's supposed to be sitting here, and I don't know what happened to it. I haven't seen it. So it keeps landing on my face. It drives me crazy. Whatever. Those baby flies are vicious because they just don't know that people will smack the heck out of them and they think they can just land over you in the same place 20,000 times. Anyway, it's 5 o'clock. My friends are going to be here in about an hour and a half with dinner, but I am feeling hungry right now and so I'm stuck eating what I've got on a tray, which isn't much. I am going to be having Quest peanut butter cups, a built bar. It's smart sweets. And where'd my protein puffs go? Well, if I can find them, I'm gonna have a package of the Premier Protein Nacho Cheese Puffs. It's, it's a snack time of champions, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I gotta take a couple more meds at five, so I'm gonna take, eat these and take it with that because I don't wanna get sick like I did last night, taking meds without food, so. Other than that, it has been an easy day. I was expecting day three to be like the killer painful day, like the, the expert all wearing off and my um, muscle repair and stuff like that, but so far it hasn't happened. I feel like it's too good to be true. When's the shoe going to drop and all that? But I don't know. So far recovery has been way easier than I thought it would be. So love that. I'm excited about that. And yeah, I'm going to have my snack and I'll check back in with you later when my friends are here and we're eating their delicious curry that they make. It's so good. All right. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. It is day four post-op. I am sitting here editing videos. <laughs> that funny. And sitting on my chair here with a pillow. Um, it's pretty comfortable actually, it's not too bad. Um, I just took all of my morning pills. I decided to not take a oxycodone this morning to see if I could hold off on it for a few hours if I could just start to wean off because I only have, I think, four more pills left. So I'm gonna have to be careful with those today. Um, I took all my vitamins and everything though, all the other medicines that I've been taking exactly the same as yesterday. And I'm gonna have a health code shake with it and a Bill Bar and some Quest peanut butter cups so that I don't get nauseated. And I'm thinking about taking the scopolamine patch off today. Um, see if I can handle the nausea without it. See if there's not going to be a nausea. I don't know. Because um, blurry vision is a huge problem. I'm having a hard time seeing things, which doesn't help when I'm trying to edit a video or.
record for you guys, but um, I'm not in extreme pain. Um, here a twinge, there a twinge. Uh, feel just really, really tight, like somebody wrapped your whole midsection in saran wrap so you can't bend it. Um, obviously, you saw from the weight, um, it's insane how much water I'm ret retaining. Can't decide if I should cut back on the sole water and just see if the sodium would actually do anything or if I should just keep going and let my body do its thing. I already took a dose this morning, so I don't know if today, today won't be that day, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I think swelling is just part of the process. I didn't realize it would be like 20 pounds worth of swelling, but hey. <laughs> Whatever, right? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not super stressed over that. So um, I'll keep you in the loop if anything interesting happens today. But so far, not very interesting. Oh, I didn't show my food last night because I had friends over. They came to see me and they brought me um, kind of a potato rice curry so you could see the keto I think keto thing has like gone out the window um, just kind of trying to not overdo the carbs but not really stressing if I want to eat them um, oh yeah I actually have made some popcorn to eat with this shake that I'm gonna have today actually it's in a microwave back there I have a microwave back there there so yeah day four post-op is so far going great I was really worried about day three it went awesome had people over it was great I don't know what day four has got in store, but day five is supposedly bad too, so we'll see.